In this video I will show how to make some simple maintenance for these kind of mini hi-fi component system stereos. In other words, desktop stereos or bookshelf stereos. Uh, these devices, <coughs> older Sony MHC model, and it has a three disc changer and uh, dual deck for a cassette. Uh, over the time dust will get in and cause many kind of problems. For example with this unit these <coughs> cassette decks are really dusty and dirty so these won't work. And uh, when I <clears throat> try to play some CD. Uh, the sound was quite uh, lagging, so the disc changer or the reader itself it's so dusty that the CD won't play without problems. So next I'm going to take this device open and show where to clean to make this thing work again. Usually it is enough that you find all the screws and then the panel will come out. But for example this top panel here uh, also had some uh, plastic clips here and here. Uh, so before breaking anything uh, try, try to check if there's some features which are holding the panel and when you are trying to lift and remove the panel try to feel where it's stuck so you don't break anything and then you can uh, find the clips for example here there was some kind of plastic hook behind this small clip here so uh, these are kind of things that you don't know beforehand, so you just have to search and test so you don't break anything. Now we can see inside and there is a lot of dust everywhere. And because this uh, disc changer was uh, the main problem, next I'm going to remove this whole disk changer unit and <clears throat> how to remove this uh, this real panel is almost loose or, or already uh, there was one screw here and one on the opposite side then there is just few cables connected to the bigger PCB and then one thing which is of course important is to remove this front uh, cover plate or whatever plastic piece. Uh, it was only with um, kind of clips or hooks. So just groove and then there's opposite uh, shape of plastic fitted tightly to here. Just basically press in and you're done. So removing it just by pulling gently and kind of wiggle it out. When the wheel is out we can almost see inside but not enough to clean 
that component so we have to remove all this and then just gently bending the rear panel away and lifting the rear end out and then we can just pull it out at the bottom side there's just two cables which are removed and then um, one uh, backup screw which is um, securing that this can, can't drop and then these four screws and then this whole unit can be removed and then we can see the optical component which is reading the disc now this unit is removed and there is this uh, cover so that optical component is uh, well covered uh, when it's not used but of course uh, dust will get in because it's not sealed it's just plastic part and now I can use some cotton stick or other suitable tool and some oxide cleaner or well some electrical cleaning liquid and gently wipe the optical part clean and after the lens is clean we can install all parts back in after the disc changer unit is back we can uh, check the cassette deck uh, one thing to check when uh, panels are open is of course checking the belts uh, belts uh, are easy to diagnose of course if nothing happens with cassette belt might be uh, broken these are intact and you can test the tension there should be some tension on the belt and these are fine so only thing we have to do for the cassette decks is cleaning the dust out and uh, especially it's important to clean this uh, tape head here so again some uh, suitable electrical cleaner and some cotton sticks will do the trick another important thing to uh, clean is that uh, metal pin because this pin and the wheel uh, now we can see better the wheel under the pin those are the parts which are uh, moving the tape from one reel to another so those are also very important to clean and once all, all the parts are cleaned these cassette decks should also work